Let's pray. Our Father in heaven would like to come before your presence this afternoon. We'll be having our class and we pray, Lord, that you'll be with us. Our friends are not with us this, this afternoon because of the power outage at MVC. We are praying, the Heavenly Father, that everything will just go on fine with them. And we also pray, the Heavenly Father, that you will bless us as we go on chapter 5. We are recording this so that others can also view this later and review what we're going to do this afternoon. And we pray, the Heavenly Father, that you will bless MVC as well because they are in lockdown right now. Somebody came to MVC and who's positive with COVID. We pray, Lord, that no student or no faculty or staff or resident at MVC will be contaminated with the disease. And we pray, the Heavenly Father, that your angels will keep watch over each and every student right there. We pray for your continued blessings. We'll be studying this afternoon the Hebrew language. Can kindly guide us and lead us so that we may learn things necessary for us to understand the Hebrew language. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So, are you there? Good. So, our lesson for this afternoon, uh, let me see kung hindi na ko siya ma-view as um, reading. Where is the view for reading here? Wala. Anyway, sige. Maklaro lang ninyo akong ano. Maklaro lang ninyo ang akong i-share. Yes, yes. Mabasa ninyo? Mabasa lang, sir. Okay. Ano sa inyong ginagamit? Cellphone or laptop? Okay, I'm using laptop, sir. Okay. So, kay mo, kay mo, say mo, Jeff. Laptop. All right. Say mo, Arniel. Laptop po na iya. Laptop po na iya. Okay. Anyway, so again, let's go. Um, our lesson for this afternoon is lesson five. Okay, adjectives. So I hope you have. Um, you have actually studied the previous lessons that we have chapter 4 which i posted in moodle i hope you you got that where is where is our moodle here it's actually here all right it's on the at the bottom of our lesson but let me just go over the the thing that we have in lesson 4 okay um i'll just share what's what's on the screen okay Dali lang git kayo. Um, Alright, so display ka, window capture. Okay, okay. Um, I'll share with you where is my Moodle here. Moodle, 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 Moodle. Dali lang git kayo ha. Center, let us inbox. So, So, kanila sa atong kanawon. This is video capture. Let's na akong capture to. Okay, so let's go here first. Right, so lesson 4. No? Um, kapal. Actually, verbs are very important, no? Sa Hebrew language. So probably we'll just skip or we'll just look at chap chapter or lesson 4 this afternoon rather than looking at uh, lesson 5. 
Okay. Ah. Uh, Sana ako naglibog ng inang kuhan eh. Ah, okay. Right here. Balik lang ito sa ano. Lesson 5. Lesson 4, di ay. Lesson 4 is more important probably this time para sa atong lesson 5, no? Okay. Right. Okay. So, din lang ito. Lesson 4. Okay. Arba. Kung makita niya ni, if you can see the top bottom here, I mean the top part, right? I'll use my annotation uh, para makita niyo. Okay, this this is the one that I'm actually reading on top. Arba. So let me move this one a little bit on top. Okay, here. So, mas dali na siya diha. Mm. Yes. Okay. Very good. Katal. So, look at this. The vowel of of lesson 4 is you have batak here. And no, it's kamates, right? Yeah, kamates and patak. I, I did not actually tell you the the names of the words basically. I mean the names of the vowels, but uh, just to just for us to recognize this is kamates and this one is patak. Okay. Right. So you have here Kamates, this one is patak. So this is long a and this is short a. So you notice that what we're what we are actually doing here, we continue reading the no? I previously we have already read what we uh, actually we have already done what we were supposed to do. Okay. So alright, so you read this as Katal because the the accent falls on the last syllable, especially in the Hebrew language. So you read this as katal, he killed. Alright? Katal, he killed. So and then you have here the wow. Okay, this is wow, and then you have a patak underneath. Okay, this is when you have a wow and then a patak underneath, that tells you that the vowel is basically, I mean, the wow and the patak going together with an imperfect, that tells you that it is a narrative, okay? That's actually a continuation of the narrative, basically. Okay? And then you have the imperfect, all right? The yod here is your imperfect. Okay, let me change my color so that um, there is a recognition there. You know, this is wonderful with 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 Zoom, basically. Okay, you can use uh, circling. You know, there are so many things that you can use with Zoom, basically. Okay. So here. Okay. Uh, mas may siguro kung magtindog ko, no? It's actually better if I will just uh, stand and I could read it much better with if whether when it's I'm when I'm actually standing. Okay. So here, the next we have words. All right. So the words here basically is um, Nathan. The first one is. 
El Nathan Hanavi. Okay. L is your preposition. And then Nathan is your verb. Okay, this is now your uh, Katal verbs. Just like here now. If you look at the Katal, the Nathan has the same vowel with the Katal on top. Okay, well, hopefully you can actually see it very well. Um, let me move it a little bit. Yes. Okay, make it a little bit longer. All right. So, okay. So, basically, you will see the difference between. Um, uh, it's actually the similarity between Katal and Nathan. Okay, so this one and this one are basically the same. Hopefully, you can get it. So, Nathan, and you have noticed that um, uh, the examples that are given to us here are actually moving. Okay, it's progressing from from just a simple katal to a narrative and completed action okay so here okay l nathan hanavi so the l here means it is your um, the l is basically your preposition which means to to the okay i mean no, no, it's only up the, that's only two, okay? So, L is equivalent to two, all right? Oh, this is actually, no, 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 I'm sorry. Um, let me, I will stand corrected, okay? So, Nathan is actually, it's not a verb, but this is actually a noun. Okay? It's a noun. So, this is the one. L is a preposition. And then you have Hanavi here. Basically, is also another noun. Okay? But, uh, this noun basically describes who Nathan is okay so where did we get the da the da is you can see it here right that's the da that is what you call a definite article okay so the definite article is just there and um, that is why you translate it as the and then you have the navi there you know the word we have been we have met that word before okay so yes or yes is this the one that we is this the one that i have posted Okay, it's actually the same. Yes, it's actually the same. All right. Okay, so I hope you you get it already, right? Okay, so El Nathan Hanavi, which means two, and then you have supposedly the literal translation would be to Nathan the prophet. Okay. Alright, so to Nathan the prophet, supposedly it should be like that. But for the, I think the, this is, this translation is basically, um, what you call that, a uh, smooth translation. So you have there already El Nathan Hanabi. Alright? Okay, so, and then you have the next, the next phrase. Watitain lo et hakesef. 
right? So you have a patak vowel here under the wow. You have a kirek under the tau, and um, chere under the another tau with uh, the tau with a dagesh forte. Okay, and then th the first tau you have a dagesh forte also here. All right. All right, so I, actually the translation here is lacking no? because this this word comes from the word Nathan and I think this is second person. This is imperfect second person with the tau there. Okay. Yes, this is um, second person. A masculine singular. Cal. Cal. Perfect. No, cal imperfect. Second person masculine singular. Right? Second person you translate it as you. Or with you. Watitin. So supposedly this should be translated as and you gave and then you have law. We know the word law. You have that already before. Um, in I think that's in lesson lesson two or lesson three. Law et hakesa. So you gave to him et hakesa. Right? Et is a direct object marker. And then ha is your definite article. And your definite article supposedly your definite article is hal okay but the the lamed usually drops off or it is assimilated in the first letter of the verb or of the noun i mean so in this case the assimilation is indicated by the the by the dagesh forte here so i already marked that so the dagesh forte in the cough or cough tells you that the lamed is the lamed as part of the definite article hall is assimilated in the cough so you have there the dagesh forte okay and then you have sigol 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 and then you have the final uh, pay, right? There are there are uh, the final letters appears at the end of the of the word. So in this case, the pay appears at the end of the word. That is why it has the final pay there. So hakesef, all right. So that's the word. So we read it watitin lo et hakesef. Like SF, all right. So the wow here, and and then you have the second person you, and you gave law is to him. So instead of just saying to him here, you have him as the translation, and then you have F direct object marker is that okay? So that means to say, and you have the uh, definite article there. So you have the translation hak et hakesef the silver, right? The silver. So when you say when you see this et, the next the next word is your direct object. Okay. So I hope you you're getting that um, that thing. So every time that you see this this word et, what follows is a direct object. Okay. So in this case. Your, uh, your noun or your subject is you, second person. Your, the, your verb is gave. And him is now your um, basically indirect object. I-O, indirect object. And the silver is your uh, direct object. Again, you have here the wow. This is the verb you have. 
with the subject then law is your direct object or uh, indirect object and hakesef is your direct object so do we translate what do you think law at hakesef as and he you gave him the silver okay the next word is why the bear la hanavi okay you have another verb here um okay sorry you have to okay so again of course yeah probably we are going to see all the explanations right there but at least we have what we have here is uh, we can read the text so you have why the bear la okay you pronounce the h the he there with like that la hanavi okay why the bear la hanavi so okay when you have of, of course you have the kamitz he that is your feminine ending okay why the bear and the prophet spoke so your hanavi now is the subject of your word the bear ayed the bear okay so and the and the prophet spoke to her okay and then you have the next word wayomer and he said okay and he said that's a verb that that and then when you when you see the word wayomer why you wayomer yes you have to i mean you have to put into your mind or you should second guess that what comes next is um, a statement so it should be placed in quotation marks if you are translating it in english okay so you have katlu or katalu hanashim haele all right wayomer katlu hanashim or haanashim haele all right so you have it there the translation of wayomer is and he said katlo katlo means they killed the ending is plural basically third person plural hanashim this is plural also so um, the singular of nashim is i know the singular of anashim is ish right i think we have um, learned that before hanashim haele so that's very important to take note there okay so wayomer and and he said katlu that's third person a uh, cal cal perfect third person masculine plural um that's your verb cal cal, cal verb all right and then you have ha anashim as your subject ha ele is your demonstrative pronoun okay your demonstrative pronoun is this so you'll translate wayomer katlu ha anashim ha ele as he said, comma, open quotation marks, these men have killed, close quotation mark. All right, so that's how you are going to translate that. And then again, you have the next line here is F, def definite object marker, or no, it's not definite, but it's direct, direct object marker. And of course, if you have the direct object marker, the, the next one should be your object. The object here in this case is actually Hamelek. With Hamelek, it has a definite article ha or hal. The lamed is basically assimilated in the mem. And so you have there your noun as Melek. So Melek means king. Hamelek means the king. Wegam. Alright, the next word here is Wegam. Wegam. So you have a conjunction with a Shewa here and then you have gum also so it's basically this is yes all right so we are actually looking at the verse right here we gum et hamelek so the king we gum and also right the next one here is not not new all right not new which means they gave all right and then you have F direct object uh, direct object marker again and then you have ha your definite article then kise alright not nu 
et hakise, which means he gave the throne, right? Or they gave, sorry, for that. That's plural, okay? Third person plural. Not new. They gave they gave the throne or in this case the book translated it as they have given okay but uh, of course that's perfect okay next one is leather with ben yi she okay yi she all right leather with ben yi she so le is your preposition the with is your noun Okay, and then you have Ben or Ben, Yishe. Ben, ben is son, Yishe is a uh, proper noun, okay, which means Jesse. Okay, so leather with means to David, Ben Yishe, son of Jesse. But the English would be translated as Jesse's son. So leather with Ben Yishe means to David, Jesse's son. All right. And then the next line here, what ishma faisha? Again, you have the wow there. This tells you that this is a continuation of a narrative. So probably we are actually um, reading a narrative right here, no? So I hope that you we are getting some things uh, out of here, right? So we, we just uh, guess that Oh sorry. Right? Okay. Video capture. Okay, go. to my video okay Okay, good. All right, so what is ma? So you you notice here that there's a tau, just like what I said a while ago. There's a tau also there. So tau that's um oh, so that's actually feminine. Oh, this is actually feminine. Okay. Yeah, it's feminine, but it can also be second person. It can also be second person. Uh, masculine also. Yes, this now is actually feminine because you have the subject, Paisha. Paisha is feminine, basically. Right? So, yes. So, what Ishma? Is if you if you are going to translate it without your noun Haisha, you will translate this and the woman heard, I mean and she heard, okay and she heard. But since you have a subject Haisha, you use the subject woman here. So what Tishma Haisha means the woman heard, right? And then you have <clears throat> the next one here is Eth Devar Hanavi. Eth Devar Hanavi. Alright, so you have again the direct object and then you have the word the Devar from the word Dabar, Devar. There's a change in the um, vowel right there. Okay. And then you have Hanavi. Okay, so basically if you translate this literally, you just say the word of the prophet. Okay. Or Yes, Devar Hanavi, the word of the prophet. 
but I think the translation here is more of a NIV translation. Now, what I mean is it's it because it's now smoothened or it's it's an interpretation. I would say so. Et de Varhanavi uh, is translated by the book as what the prophet said. But literally, et de Varhanavi should be translated as the word of the prophet. Okay? And then we go to what they led. What they led, Lerush. Lerush Shalom. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, what they led, Lerush Shalim. Shalim. Okay? Lirushalaim. What he led Liru Li ah no my tongue is twisting. Lirushalaim. Okay, what he led Lirushalaim. Okay, what he led comes from the word halak. There is a uh, dropping off of the he there. So yes, the he actually easily drops off. So what that means to say there is a missing letter already there. But how do we know that there is a missing letter? We can only know that there is a missing letter if we are familiar with the word. So basically what we have here is an example of a letter that drops off. So the word lake or lake comes from the word halak. Um, te is your or ta is your yeah, te is your um, tense identifier imperfect. Okay, this is actually imperfect. Must uh, feminine singular, right? So you will translate what they like as she walked or she went. Can be she walked. She you can or she yes. It can also be she went. Go or walk. Halak can can mean go. It can also mean walk. Right, so what they like means and she went, and then you have the preposition li. Uh, sorry, preposition lamed. Supposedly, there is a um, she went there, but since the, the beginning of the word in which it was attached begins with the youth, there is um, lengthening of the she right here, it becomes kirek yod. So you read this as Lirushalam, Yerushalayim. So the Le is your preposition to or for. Directional for is also attributive or separation. It can also mean, can also be possessive. It can be of, right? But in this case, um, you we translate it as to because of the verb that basically tells us that um, there is an idea of a direction okay there's a movement okay so in this case the woman was moving all right towards jerusalem or to jerusalem so and she went to jerusalem that is the translation okay so these are the words that we have in um in this word in this page Okay, so let's move on. If you don't have any questions, Jeff, do you have a question? Or you don't have a question? Or let's continue. All right, good. Okay, let's continue. All right, so what we were talking about here are basically uh, these things are um, explanations of what we have right there. Okay, so... Here, the next sentence is Bayom Hasheni Katalu or Katalu Hanashim et Havath. Alright, so let's um, translate that first. Okay? Bayom, right? We have a preposition be here. There's actually a, a definite article down there. How basically, supposedly, but the hay is assimilated with the bath right here. So what happens here is that the bath, uh, the hay is assimilated in the bath, the preposition be, 
And then the Dagesh can mean two things here. One, it is Dagesh Forte. I mean, first it is Dagesh Lening to harden the preposition. But it can also mean prep, uh, Dagesh Forte to indicate that the K of the article is assimilated in the breath. Okay, and then um, you have the Yod. So, all right, your noun here should be, should be Yod. The lexical entry does not have a dagesh forte, all right? This is your dagesh forte here. Uh, yes, so what happens here is that there's another assimilation, okay? You know what's the assimilation right there? The assimilation is on the, um, the, the missing lamed, all right? The missing lamed of the definite article hal, all right? So, bayom means on the day, okay? Bayom is on the day. And then you have uh, a description or telling us what day is that? When was that day? Okay? So, you have the noun here. The noun is basically shene. Okay? Your noun is shene, which means second. That is temporal, okay? Sheni, second. And then you have the definite article again, ha. Huh? Yes, there is an assimilation right there. So you translate this as the second, okay? The second. So bayom is translated as in the day. Ha the day, uh, the second. So if you translate Bayom Hasheni, in English you translate it as in the or on the second day. Okay? Right. Okay, and then you have the word katlu. Alright. So now we go if we go up right here, we have the word kata. Okay? So now it appears here this afternoon. Katal. Where is it? It's actually here. Yes, this one, katal. But this one is basically plural, all right? So this is the thing here, okay? If you notice, this is the plural here. That one and this one are actually the same. So you translate katlu as with they, all right? So katlu means they kill, all right? Plural, since it's actually plural. So they kill. But the question is, who is the they? The question, I mean, the answer to that is here. Ha anashim. So when you say they killed, now you have to look at the sentence whether it has actually, a, uh, it would tell you whether it has a subject or not. So in this case, there's a subject. The subject is ha anashim. Okay? And yes, we have th there the definite article. Anashim is the plural of ish. Okay, so ha'anashim means the men. So katlo ha'anashim could be translated, I mean, literally it's translated as they killed the men. Okay, but the men is your subject. In repla To replace the word they, <coughs> you say the men killed. Alright, so katlo ha'anashim means the men killed. The question is, who did they kill? Now, it would now go to the direct object. So, how do we know? What is the direct object? Here we go. The direct object is, the direct object marker is et. And who, who is the object? You have there, habath. Again, you have the definite article. Okay, th this is your definite article. This is actually your noun. Okay. So, Habath. Who did they kill? Habath. Who, what is the meaning of Habath? The daughter. Okay? So, we'll, we'll translate by, by Yom Hanashimi Katlu Hanashim et Habath as on the second day, the man killed the daughter. Alright? I have actually a daughter, a very beautiful daughter. God forbid that someone would fool or take advantage of her. I am always praying that my daughter will be taken good care of um, by God. She will be protected 
until she'll she'll be old enough to take good care of herself. Okay, so why are we talking about my daughter here? I just like to have a daughter anyway. All right, so do you have a question? Okay, let's move on. Let's go to the next line. The next line is Wayiktol Habin, all right? Wayiktol Habin, Eth Ha Anashim, right? So, okay. So let's start here. Again, the wow is, uh, it actually tells you that this is a narrative, but of course you have to translate that with the word and, and then you have the, the imperfect. How do you know that it's imperfect? It's actually the yod tells you that it's imperfect. And then you have the verb katal, right? So you have the verb katal there. Wayikto. Okay, so how will you translate that? That is kal perfect third person masculine singular. So you say, and he killed. Now the question is, who is the he? In the sentence, it identifies the he as habin, all right? So the, the son, okay? So the son, wayiktol, habin, the son killed. Who did he kill? Eth, hanashim, all right? He killed the man. So basically, the sentence is very brutal because one man killed so many men, right? So anyway, so that's how we are going to translate that sentence there. Okay, let's read. Let's try to read um, the reading area 4.2 there, okay? So we have uh, 20 minutes more to go. Just tell me if it's already time. Okay, so let's read. Wayik tol. Oh yeah, sorry. Wayik talu hanashim et haav. Whoa. Wayik tol, no, sorry. Wayik talu ha'anashim et ha'av. So wayik talu, now again you have the uh, the ending there is actually there. They, you have the wow, this is wow consecutive. You have the imperfect and then you have the verb. Okay, katal. Okay, let me repeat that. Let me show you again. The wow here is your Wow, consecutive. That means to say this is a narrative. That means to say it's actually, um, this is a continuation of the previous uh, part of the narrative. And then you have the imperfect, youth, and then you have the verb, katal, and then you have the ending, okay? Shurek, u, right? So, wayik talu, so it's actually they, and they killed, and again, it, in the sentence, it gives you the subject, Ha'anashim, you, know you know the meaning of, the, of Ha'anashim already? It means the man, okay? Right, and then you have the direct object, who did they kill? Ha'av, okay? Av is actually singular with a definite article, Ha'av. Right? So, the father. So, wayiktalu ha'anashim et ha'av means the man killed the father. Okay, so uh, that's the sentence right there. Next, um, Jefferson, can you try, can you help me read the next sentence? Come on, just try. Go ahead. Just make your voice a little bit louder. Okay, Jefferson, can you unmute yourself? Yes, there you go. All right, sir. All right, the, the one with the red line. We. All right, good. 
Wegam we we gam al S a S S let me let me try to make it a little bit bigger if you so that you can read it Yeah, there. Can you read it? Oh, I should have done this a while ago, no? To make it a little bit bigger. This confused me, that. Huh? Pass along. Okay. All right, Jeff. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, anyway. All right, so Lance, are you there? You still have battery? I'm here, Pastor. Okay, I want you. To, I want you to help us here. Okay. Can you read this one for us, please? Hilip, baka ikaw proficient mag-read pastor pero um, yan o like um, practice ko kay makamasa ko pero huwag on the spot kay Dilip ah <laughs> Just try at least to make you to push you to read on the spot Kita sa ulo eh Dilip sa kwan the first the first word um. go 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 <laughs> who's, who's with you is there a girl with you a friend from the Medtech department just for Oh, yeah, we are good. Good. It starts with her. Okay, is she is she the one teaching you how to read Hebrew? No, oh, she helps me just for with the fun with the notes. <laughs> I have my notes right here. <laughs> okay, okay, just go ahead. All right. She might be challenged. She might be able to read first. I mean, she... <laughs> go, go, go. What's on the line? Wake up. Wake up. Right? Good. Uh. Yes. Ah, look at that. Wait, Here, here, next. Eh, eh. Come on, Lance. You have you have an inspiration beside you, so go ahead. <laughs> it 
Ismat et et haim. Okay, et haim. All right, very good. Et haim. Okay. okay. And then uh, ko. Yes. Ko. Then. Uh, Last word. Last word. What's one that? All right, this one is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Long, long you, oh, oh. just like mountain Jew. Or no, mountain ah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. D. Ooh, all right. All right, kate, and then what's the last syllable? Lamed. Lamed, that's Lamed. Ateld. Ooh. Ooh. This one is O. Atelu. Right, good. Okay, read the whole sentence. Go ahead. Come on. Wegam etahem katelu. Right, very good. Okay, wegam eth haem katelu. Right, good. Okay. Thank you for challenging me, Pastor. <laughs> Well, everybody can actually do it, no? Yeah. So if you try, you can do it, basically. We can do it. Right. right. Very good. So if you don't, if you don't try, um, you cannot actually do it. Ah, so it's a sure pastor and one the last year. Yes, it's actually a shurek, right? It's a shurek. So you have the. Okay. It's basically shurek, right? So. Okay. Now the challenge is how would you translate this? <laughs> and also, they killed the man, mother. Okay. So. Right, so you have here you know what? Wegam is and also. Wow. Right, you have your wow there. That's your uh, conjunction. And you have gum also. This is your direct object marker. You don't translate that. This is your definite article. And then this is your noun. Okay. Aim. Okay, so so you have to divide that like like that. I'm dividing th that according to the word. Okay, and then you have katalu as your word. Okay, this is your verb and this is your uh, ending basically. Okay, so wegam is n also. F you don't translate it. Ha is the aim mother katalu. Right, take note, this is the direct object marker. So in English, when we translate it, when we translate uh, the, or when we write the English language, it should be subject, verb, object, right? Subject, verb, object. So in this case, you notice that there is no, um, what do you call that? There is no order that you find here, except that there is a marker that tells you that a certain word, in this case, haim, is your direct object. How did we know that that is the direct object? Because there is a direct object marker, f. Okay? F haim. That means to say that is now your object. So the question is, wegam is basically your transition and also transitory phrase. And then you have katalu, that is your verb, with Third person masculine plural, shurek, yes. So the shurek actually is translated as they. So katalu would mean they kill, right? And then, of course, subject, verb, object, 
your object here in this sentence is et haim. So you say, they killed the mother. So wegam et haim katlu, katlu means, and also they killed the mother. All right, so yeah, so that's it. So try, just try to practice. And by the way, um, just practice reading. Okay, let's do the last the last sentence here. Watelik haakos. All right. Watelik haakos. Ak ak is uh, ak is brother. For the plural, for the feminine is akos. Okay. Right. So let me just uh, divide that again. You have wow as your narrative uh, wow consecutive to tell you that, that that is a continuation of the sentence and then you have your again your second person must a feminine singular imperfect and then you have the noun the noun is lake but it comes from the word halak which means to go halak so there is a missing k there and then haakoth is your subject right so we, we translate wa wate lake haakos okay so this your ha is your definite article right this is your noun so that's it okay so wate lake haakos haakos is your subject haakos is your subject your what lake is your verb so you notice that in hebrew you have verb subject but in english when you translate it it should be subject plus verb you get that subject verb but in hebrew what you have here is verb and then you have the subject so let's translate what the translation would be and the sister went okay or and the sister walked that's that can be uh, uh, another translation all right so thank you very much for joining me this afternoon would you want to say something before we go okay so i'm happy, I'm happy that you're here with me this afternoon i know that there is actually a, a brown out in mvc and um, hopefully, oh, what happened to my TV? All right, okay, good. Okay, we're good. All right, so. Kim, can you can you pray for us, please? Uh, let's yes, pray. Sir. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray, our heavenly Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for being with us throughout our class. You be with us, each one of us. Bless also Pastor Espero to be with his family. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay.